。おはようございます。Um, I hope you can hear me well. I am not using my headphones and I'm outside、um, somewhat near the street, so there will be cars. And please excuse my appearance in this camera because I am not wearing sunscreen and have not for a couple of days. I need to buy more. So now everything's showing. <laughs> okay. So, this video is pretty much a therapy reason for me right now. I don't really want to tell you how I'm feeling right now. I don't really want to share with anybody how I'm feeling right now for numerous reasons. And, but for this moment, I feel it is important and I feel that I am being led to say something about it, but I don't even know what's about to come out of my mouth. I don't. Always really ever know, but I really don't know right now. So, again, I hope you can hear me. You probably could if I wasn't looking away. So, looks away. My f- so, right now, I am doing an assignment where I, I, I felt. Very happy about it in the first place because it's something that is important for what I'm doing right now to me and in general, really to the whole plan. The thing about my job is that there's so many things that go into it that I don't always know what it is that I'm like, what are What are we all supposed to be focusing on at this moment? Like, what specifically is the main reason why you want me to be in this space? What is the main reason for this, this situation, if, if anything? You know? And because that, that whole question, that whole pathway of question, and There was more to it. My head hurts, so I didn't, I didn't know what else to put there, but it kind of just came out. But that whole question right there really leads to, you know, then what do I do next? Or what do I do now? Or what am I supposed to be, not just what am I supposed to be feeling, but like what, how should I approach this? Because it's clearly something that is different than it used to be, serves me differently, if not at all. And, you know, what are my choices and what can I see and what does that bring me? So, right now, my overall feeling is that I don't, I don't feel that I'm supposed to be in this space anymore for this assignment. This has happened a couple of times in my past, and that is something that. I've learned that I'm glad that I take the time that I take before I do things because had it been in the past, it would have been different. But now, in a different space of energy, it's completely different. I could walk out. No. I have kind of turned into the type of person that will tell you that I'm not going to come in anymore in general. Like, I will, I, these decisions are important. And they're more important than people make them seem. And as somebody that used to run a kitchen and having that personality being brought to me, it's annoying. So I really do try not to bring that to the table like immediately, especially because a lot of the reason why I feel the way that I feel is because that I've been living outside for the last three years and I work on my own schedule and do my own thing and have been suffering and doing those things without. Being inside working for other people and doing anything of that sort, or what is the other part? Just in general, being a part of someone else's schedule. I've not been a part of someone else's schedule for the last three years, and so now any little bit a part of like being obligated to do something for someone else that isn't directly what I want to do. It really does make me have to do extra meditation. 
And that being said, I also didn't want to be the type of person that I knew when I took the assignment that I was not going to be here as long term as I want it to be. And for long term for me is not it's not long term. Honestly, a week or two is, is long enough at this point. But um, apparently day one was too much. And so I've been pushing through that uh, every day and it hurts a lot. I've it, it's it's not even the job that's hard. It's not I actually like the job. It's actually really fun to me because it's something that I've wanted to learn how to do. Um, and also since I have to wait for a certain payday on, you know, that specific gathering of money and whatnot, you know, it suits my needs to be putting in that, you know, hours and time. It sounds so uninspiring. The whole reason why I'm here is because it was the next part in my path. But then when I took it, it was like, do you even want to be here? So I've had to really balance that whole feeling because in the past, I would have known exactly what I've would have had to do when it comes to feeling that way it was time to leave but in this case I am feeling fear (laughs) I'm feeling I'm feeling fear towards not doing the right thing for my spiritual path because if I I feel the personal pressure of if I don't do it correctly or if I don't do it the way that it feels right or that I've learned as closely as I know that I am capable of doing and seeing those signs and acting accordingly and, you know, healing accordingly accordingly as well. I'm afraid of being out on the street again. Because technically I'm not even still out on the street. But the way the energy is gone, I've been blessed to not be on the street for about three months now, technically speaking. There was a break in between that, but it seems that this is, you know, it's moving. And that being said, I don't want to be that spiritual person that's very irresponsible about their choices And even though I've never been that type of person, I know that walking away from what I'm doing right now without knowing the situation as a whole, that will put me in that position. And that also being said, um, I'm in a position where I know that God kind of just wants me to walk away from it because it's not for me. And so that is an internal thing that I've come to peace with from the beginning, if anything, is very peaceful of a, it sounds turbulent and, you know, clearly crying. But like I said, I'm always on the verge of tears these past couple of weeks, (laughs) especially because there's more to that. Um, So the person that I am doing this assignment with, she, uh, is going through things that are really bringing out the sadness in her even though she will not necessarily tell me that but also everybody's kind of going through a lot of sadness collectively and Besides the fact that my bank account is steady and, you know, doing its own thing, I would be perfectly emotionally fine right now if it wasn't for the energy that is around me. And not just around me with people that I'm around in general, but like, I have to wake up and and meditate like I used to before I started even doing all of this spiritual stuff. And um, I have to make sure that I am 
breathing the way that it, you know feels good to me feels best to me so that I can feel like I can be ready for the day and it's funny because I do know what my own anxiety is I do know what my own issues are my own you know shortcomings and whatnot it just hurts too way too much I'm not going to put a number on it because I don't want to give it that much power but it's it's like I know exactly when especially someone else's energy is affecting mine and I'm glad to know that because um, I knew what which symptoms they were that were coming from outside of my energy in general nothing can really be outside of my energy but you get the point outside of my human even then you get my point though so then it was confirmed probably two days later that those symptoms were coming from that person and I didn't say anything but I had already revealed that it was difficult for me to be in this space because of the sadness in there and then she asked me where the sadness came from and I just pointed and then I said her heart because it really hurts a lot of it just really hurts and um it's funny because it's not difficult to deal with my own sadness when it comes to these types of situations but it's probably because I heal it but when it's someone else's it feels so painful and and it I don't want to be around it at all but my overall feeling is that if I walk out on this opportunity that I'm doing right now, I also know that I won't like myself very much. Because even though I left at the right time at other points, money has been an issue this whole time. And that's something that regardless of what path I've taken and how and how I felt about it and honestly still regretting nothing, I honestly did not want to be anywhere that I needed to be gone from for longer than I needed to be especially when God is telling me that I need to leave in this case I feel that this job is perfect for me to be here I have a set amount of it, this is an assignment I have a set amount of what I'm supposed to be here do like you know hours and whatnot but I also It's like, it's not a lot, but it's not, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a lot more than I would like to do right now. Because, you know, of course, when things are going in a certain direction, of course, other things are also going to be doing that same thing. And it's up to you to listen to your guidance and figure out what you're going to do with that energy. And, you know, how are you going to juggle it if you're going to juggle it, if not. And I only put my energy where it's supposed to go. So the fact that I'm still here, it means that I know that I'm supposed to be here until I know that I'm not supposed to be here. But I already, the shift, the shift already happened and I, I recognize it. It happened immediately, actually. After the interview, it happened. And I just, I don't even work for that long throughout the day. If anything, I'm working a lot less throughout the day than I used to in the past. This would be a dream situation for me in the past simply because of what I like to do, I suppose. But now I don't want to do anything for anybody else unless it has to do with my spiritual path. And that's really what a lot of this falls under. But at the same time, it's not my responsibility to, you know, heal someone who's not doing it themselves. And that doesn't just fall on that person. This falls on everybody, you know. And a part of me feels judged by myself because I know that I can handle it. 
I also know that this wouldn't hurt so bad if I decided to revert back to who I used to be and put up a wall with my energy. But I don't feel like that'll help me in the end. So I've been actively not doing that. I've been healing and, and making sure that I'm clearing out as I'm doing so. There is a level of protection that is to be had, but you have to handle that on, you know, with your own guidance and your own field and whatnot. So, but for me specifically, I know how to clear and I know how to be vulnerable and not feel like I'm being spiritually attacked. <laughs> One of the only reasons I'm also making this video is because I'm on my break and I forgot my Wi-Fi. So, my internet is not on right now on my phone. But I'm glad because I've been wanting to make videos. i just been really taking care of my body. And every time I disappear, that's really what's happening. Because it's it's... People, I don't know how many people really look down on spiritual people about what they do and, and, you know, like the life that they come from. But we're everywhere. We came from different walks of life, supposedly. And also, that being said, oh. that being said, I'm not always sure how things are going to go when I walk away from this as well because I really want to make more videos. I want to be more active. I have so many ideas. Part of me really wants to put chapstick on right now because I know I need it, but like... It's the internal feeling that makes me feel like I don't want to do it right now, I'll wait. But, um, that's what I was saying. I'm sorry, somebody had walked up with their dog and... It's not that I don't like things like that, I just don't like certain things, so... I lost my train of thought, even if I'm not even thinking about it. I'm kind of just feeling out what's happening. Um, I've, I wanted to say spiritual again, the spiritual people, spiritual community, whatever. But it's not even just that. Divine feminine energy. But putting that in its own category is not inclusive of the whole message either. I just feel that a lot of people really don't even know how to tell the world what it is that they do for them for everyone else based on the fact that these things are so important even if you can't see them and they're looked down upon if you don't know how to handle it but it's just the same as being in pain when you are you know medically in pain if it isn't caused from that right off the bat and in these moments I feel that there should be a lot more awareness about these situations, about how people feel when they're going in, because it's not just feelings, it's not just emotions, it's not just I'm on the verge of crying. It literally is air, human air purifier. I am in pain. And I am not happy with that. But in the end, it helps me it helps you and it helps God but I wish I wish the world wasn't so like this because I don't want to do any of this I want to do the things I want to do and I want it to be perfectly fine that I'm doing those things and I want it to be okay with me because I'm happy about what I do and what I love but I don't like that I can't pay my bills with that you know working so dang hard and you can't pay your bills with that 
doing something that's so underdogged and you can't pay your bills with that and that's something that is also part of the healing too because you can you just have to believe and understand and there are people that also do that but a big part of my path is by understanding and believing and knowing and going and just trusting so the surrender is, is there I don't know what it'll do I don't know what will happen you know how it'll happen I honestly should be feeling a lot happier right now and that's something that I've been judging myself for because I want to be I don't like feeling this way it's very painful it's not even you know all me I'm I'm a level of sad you know sometimes I wouldn't say sometimes it's most of the time but it's easy for me to understand and it's mine and so when I clear it and sit with it and speak with it and talk with it we're fine everything's fine but when it's someone else's and most likely uh, there's a lot of energy pointed at me from this person it is very difficult for me to continue being a part of it and so I don't know what God's going to do, but I'm going to keep doing my best to not be a flight risk for this person on accident. I at least want to tell them what's happening, and I've already talked to them about cutting my hours a lot more throughout the week. Um, because the first week, the first couple of weeks is all I really needed to start I really only need to couple, take a couple of certain things uh, a couple of jobs assignments or whatnot throughout the month to do what I need to do but I'd like to focus a lot more on what I'm doing instead of money my screen's dirty all right um I think I'm gonna shut this off now because I don't know what else I'm gonna say Excuse me. There's been a lot of the burping. It's just been a whole turmoil. I'm glad that a lot of burping didn't happen right now. Honestly, I feel so much better because I'm talking about this. That's another thing. I have no one, absolutely no one to talk to about these things except for God. And being that he's telling me everything's okay and there's more that we talk about, but it's overall it's just a circle of me asking for help and and really just trying to receive it and doing my best in doing that and also really wishing that i had a human friend <laughs> that i could actually talk to about these things you know what the funny thing is that i was so focused on making friends the past couple of months not just now but definitely more so the past three to four months and It's hard having people not be ready to be friends with you. I can't wait to go home. I'm glad that I can say that. Even though it, it did take me a minute to start saying it because it's, it's a motel, so. But you know, the gratefulness of being inside is, is wonderful. Especially the weather we've been having lately. I'm actually surprised. Also, have there been earthquakes? These things always happen when I have no idea they're happening. But like, have there? Everybody's talking about how there's, like, so much going on in the world. But I'm like, bro, where? And they're literally talking about it being, in he like, where I'm at. That's the thing. I'm very, like, I'm aware. But I don't see anything happening. I'm not upset with that, though, because it doesn't seem like it's a good time for all those involved. So, yeah. 
one day it won't be so difficult just to exist and I'll be able to do what I want to do but in that time I'm doing these things as I wasn't say as leisurely and as much as I want to but I've been wanting to be more proactive in what I'm doing but it hasn't been the right space I have been singing lately so that's nice but honestly I don't know where this is gonna go I know what I have I know where I like I know what I'm ready to do but at the same time this being alone thing is really affecting me a lot more lately but it's I don't know. I feel like everybody just thinks that I want to be alone. And it's really weird to me because it's like you don't know me at all. And I don't know how much I have left to say about that. But I hope that everybody is having a very blessed day. And, um, oh, I cannot currently reply to messages comments and things like that uh but i have been checking my notification bell and noticed that i have received some and i say thank you very much for leaving comments because i really do appreciate that especially because i know that people watch videos and they don't say anything which is actually really fine as long as you're taking that energy and using it for yourself but what's more important to me is that you know you feel free in your communication if you feel like you want to reach out and say something and then you don't you know what are your reasons for that that's a different story but the comments that i've gotten i haven't read them all yet but the ones that i've seen um have been by one person and that one person has definitely made me feel very happy about putting videos up because that it's just really nice to get a comment. I don't even leave comments all the time on videos either. But I do when I have something to say. Um, and also I do have to be careful what I say. Because I don't want to start a riot. So. Thank you very much for comments. I don't reply to them anyway. But I'm more than likely going to know that they're there. I'll either read them. If I do reply, then I chose to reply or I felt led to reply. So never feel that I'm ignoring you on accident or on purpose. Just know that when you reach out and you put something there, that is wonderful. And I want you to. And you are important. But also know that if I see it and I have something to say about it, I will. And I'm very appreciative for those that have. And I might reply. I have to read them. I have to get my Wi-Fi. I have to get another Wi-Fi. Um, right now I have a children's one. Which is why I cannot reply to comments in the first place. But. Um, I'll reply to those. Very soon. And I don't think I have anything else to say. If you want to support me and the cause of the world please either support me or other spiritual people in the spiritual community that you feel are also really giving to the cause the way that you feel led to give to the cause please support us we're in pain and we are doing our best to breathe please support god this is a god approved message and there's a little fuzzy coming around i thought it was a butterfly because i've been seeing them lately but that's good enough for me too because he's important as well all right and yes before anybody says anything because i've been thinking about this and again I, this is me judging myself as i say it. this person's energy the outside energy weight of the world on my shoulders type feel you know who better to handle that than god but as the human experience i am allotted a certain amount of what it is that i'm supposed to be doing in human form and in higher person form so if it hurts it hurts and yeah i definitely told myself that so balance finding that balance Hopefully, if they send me away, I'm set. It's fine. 
send me away. But right now, I'm being responsible, and this is good. Okay, I gotta go. This break is over. Johnny.